through many years of racial segregation and then fewer years of democratic dispensation where everyone's rights are protected and race becomes less of an issue, always has a powder keg of racial divisions upon it. There's a man in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Newcastle who asked Mr. Kdele the other day, in a drive away from Optimum Coal Mine is the town of Whitbank. Now the livelihoods of many here depend on the mining industry. This clothing shop has been in business for 17 years. The looming closure of nearby mines like Cornfontaine could spell the beginning of the end. So I think as Whitbank as a whole, we depend on miners. Because even our parents, they do work there in the mine, in the mine so we have to go to school. So if they close the mine, it's going to be a big problem here in with bankers. We have to, to eat, we have to bath, we have to go to school. So it's going to be a lot of problem. Let's go back to OCM. You can respond, yes, in the context of them saying, uh, don't look at the price in isolation, look at it in the context of ESCOM, uh, delay in acquiring the piece of land. Yeah, but we can move on. My understanding was as the contract was coming to the club, their price demand was 1,000 yen. And in addition, they wanted us to buy land to give to them. That was their demand. They demanding Mm. that we should buy land and give it to them. As a client. As a, as a cost plus mind. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We must buy land and give it to them. Mm. Which is what I was uncomfortable with. Mm. Uh, especially in the context of land redistribution. Mm. So why do you buy land and give it to this guy? Mm. Now, Mr. State, price. There is no price unless there is a willing buyer and a willing Mr. Uh, when we could buy coal at 400 from BE suppliers, they were willing to supply us at 400, we were willing to pay 400. They were not making demands to be given land and 1,300. Why did we have to agree to their demands? Why did we have to renew that agreement? I have a feeling that if I had signed an agreement, or agreed to OCM's uh, request. We would be sitting in this commission or a similar commission where you would be asking me, but Mr. Molife, if you had an agreement for one fee, what was it that drove you to increase, agree to this ridiculous increase that has now collapsed as well. It was uh, Mr. Glazenberg that had a very good relationship with uh, the chairperson of Optimum uh, uh, before he became the president. Last time when you appeared and you made the statements you made relating to Mr. Ramaphosa, we, 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 we adjourned in the manner that we did.